Welcome back to Terra Nova. Over the past two days, we've explored how speed can slow down time. But there's another powerful force in the universe that warps time too. Gravity. Today, we're going to dive into the concept of gravitational time dilation. Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that massive objects like stars, planets and black holes don't just warp space, they also warp time. The closer you are to a massive object, the slower time moves for you compared to someone far away from that object. This is called gravitational time dilation. To understand how this works, think of space-time as a stretched-out fabric. Massive objects, like the Earth or the Sun, cause this fabric to bend. When space is bent, time is bent along with it. The stronger the gravitational pull, the more time slows down. This is most noticeable near incredibly dense objects, such as black holes. Black holes have such strong gravitational pulls that they can warp space-time to extreme levels. If you were to get close to a black hole, you would experience time much more slowly than someone far away. Imagine you're on a spaceship orbiting a black hole. Time would move so slowly for you that hours could pass, while decades or even centuries might pass for people far away from the black hole. This effect is called gravitational time dilation, and it's been proven by experiments here on Earth. In fact, we experience gravitational time dilation every day. Clocks that are closer to the Earth's surface, where gravity is stronger, tick slightly slower than clocks in higher altitudes, where gravity is weaker. Although the difference is tiny, it's measurable, and we have to account for it in technologies like GPS. Just like with speed, time dilation caused by gravity has real-world effects. The clocks on GPS satellites are actually set to run faster than clocks on the ground to account for the weaker gravitational pull in space. Without this adjustment, our GPS systems would become inaccurate over time. But where gravitational time dilation really becomes interesting is when we look at black holes. These cosmic giants are so massive that they can stretch time almost infinitely. Near the event horizon, the point of no return, time slows down so much that it almost stops. In theory, if you could survive near a black hole without getting pulled in, you'd see the universe speeding by while you barely aged. This extreme warping of time could one day be used for deep space exploration. If future astronauts could somehow harness the gravitational pull of black holes, they might be able to experience time differently than we do. They could, in effect, time travel into the future. So, while we won't be visiting black holes anytime soon, understanding gravitational time dilation helps us understand how the universe works and how time is not as constant as we once thought. Gravity doesn't just pull objects in, it pulls time along with it. Do you think we'll ever be able to use gravitational time dilation to explore the future? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more mind-blowing content. Would you want to visit a black hole to experience the ultimate time warp, even if it meant you could never come back?